Ahmad Nisar, Lahore, Pakistan. Is it permissible for a Muslim state, Muslim government, to build temple or church from government expenses? A similar question asked by Amir Wasim from Islamabad, Pakistan. If we have a controversy here over the construction of a Hindu temple in Islamabad with the taxpayers' money by the government, Muslim clerics are opposing it here. Can a temple be built with Muslim taxpayers' money in an Islamic state? And this is another controversy that is there in the past couple of weeks regarding the government of Pakistan funding in the construction of a Hindu temple in Islamabad. And this controversy is there for the last couple of weeks. Is it permissible or not? It is unanimous amongst all the four ayamas. Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, all the fuqahs unanimously say that a Muslim cannot donate his money for the construction of a house of worship of the non-Muslim. Cannot donate, cannot build, cannot support. Several fatwas. You see the fatwas from classical scholars, from the medieval scholars, that it is not permitted for a Muslim to build a church or a temple or give donation to build a church or a temple or any place of worship of the non-Muslims. Based on the verse of the Quran of Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 2, we say that you have to cooperate with one another in birra wa taqwa. Taun al birra wa taqwa. That means you have to help one another for righteousness and piety. And this is the common verse which most of the Muslims know. But the verse continues and says that but you should not cooperate. You should not help one another in sin and transgression. You cannot help anyone, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, in doing a sin. And the biggest sin in Islam is shirk, is associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how can a Muslim donate or support in building house of worship of the non-Muslims. Regarding the question, can a Muslim government contribute or pay from the tax pays money? And the answer is no. If it's a Muslim country and if it is according to the rules of the Sharia, of the Quran and Sahih Hadith, it is haram for any Muslim or a Muslim government to pay or donate to a house of worship of the non-Muslim. In fact, when a fatwa was asked to Imam Abu Hanifa, and to the other ayamas that if a Muslim bequeaths in his inheritance that let part of my wealth or one third of my wealth be donated to make a temple, it is not permitted at all or a church. Even if you bequeath, you write in your will that let one third of my wealth be donated to build a house of worship with a non-Muslim, it is haram, it should not be followed. Even if a non-Muslim living in a Muslim country, bequeaths that let my wealth be used for the building of a temple or the building of a church, it should not be followed. And this is unanimous amongst all the fuqahs. Even you cannot use the non-Muslims money to build a temple in a Muslim land. So where is the question of using Muslim money or taxpayers money? Even if the non-Muslim wills give a vaksiya, as I mentioned earlier, that if a Muslim has a treaty with the non-Muslim and the non-Muslim agrees that he comes under the rulership of the Muslim ruler and he signs a contract, then he becomes a dhimmi, he becomes a non-Muslim under the rule of a Muslim law and then he pays a jazia. In that condition only, the Muslim ruler protects that house of worship, whether it be a temple or a church. But he cannot spend money even in innovation on it. He cannot spend money even in expanding it. And if a Muslim ruler expands place of house of worship of non-Muslim, there is full right to destroy that part which is expanded. Even though it is a dhimmi. There is no permission for him to build a new temple or a new church for the non-Muslims. Only what exists, he can protect it. That's all. So if Pakistan calls itself to be a country which is following the Quran as the constitution, and if the Muslim ulamas and the shiuks, whether it be Darul Ulum Deoband, whether it be Markaz Ali Hadith, they have objected. Of course, they are right. I am completely with them. 
I'm completely with the scholars in objecting that how can Pakistan spend the government money in making a temple? The maximum they can do is whatever temple existed, they can keep them, that's it. They cannot contribute and that's the reason. You know there are Muslim countries like Saudi Arabia where it's not permitted to build any house of worship of the non-Muslim and this is Islam. You cannot. If it's there, existing there, it is there, okay. In some Muslim countries, knows Billah, they are donating land for building temples. Some Muslim countries, they are funding tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars in building house of worship of non-Muslims. This is totally against Islam, against the teaching of Quran and Sunnah. So what the Muslim ulamas and the shaykhs in Pakistan are doing, objecting to the act done by the Pakistan government, I'm with them, I completely support them, and this should be stopped. Hope that answers the question.